All available experts, please report to room A9. Hey guys, Hector here. Today I should be going over the module Translated Keypad. You might be asking, how do you translate the keypad module? Well, it's more that the symbols might not look as they normally do. So, as you can see, some of these symbols seem familiar, but one of them seems to be flipped upside down. So, this one is the funky H thing. It's the same on this one, actually. And this one, you can see the hollow star is flipped upside down. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, note here that sigma and reverse sigma are referred to as the same symbol. Plus, the copyright symbol here won't ever be flipped upside down. He doesn't state that, but it's just understandable that um, any symbol that looks the same flipped upside down will, uh, will ever be used as the translated symbol. So you can see copyright symbol in here. Nor is, nor is the C's, the Sigma and Reverse Sigma. This one is here because the dots will be on the bottom. Though. So, this flip letter will always be a vowel. So finding the letter, we have an E. Let's translate the rest of the symbols to find our, the rest of our letters. So we have the Iotified Big Yes. Which it translates to N. We have the copyright symbol, which translates to I. And we have the sigma slash reverse sigma, because they, remember they are said to be the same. So Emergency this is cleared. translated all to personnel, L. Please return to your stations. We're going to find a word in here that contains all these letters, that being line, and we're just going to press buttons in order to spell that word. L I N E. There we go, so a module. Let's do that again. So, listen, we know that the top right one is E because that's what we did last time. So, let's try to address the symbols. We have the sigma and the reverse sigma here. So, these are both going to be translated to L's. Then we have the paragraph symbol, or pilcrow, which is a W. This word is going to be well, I think. Not will, it's going to be well. I'm assuming you can find a word in the program to which word you translate to print the corresponding label ones in spelling order of the word. I'm assuming this means that you can press these two L's in any order. But I'll say just to be safe, put the press them in all reading order. So W E L L. Then this last one, we're going to be translating a different letter because we. It's not the this anymore. It's the hollow star, which also translates to E anyway. So E there. Going down, we have. We have. <laughs> So, as you can see, this is actually isn't featured in this table here, which it says here, any other symbol, you translate it to a T, so the zeta up here is a T, the ash here is an A, and the, what people call the flat six is actually called a shima, is L. This word is probably tame or mate, whichever one they have. So you don't have tame, so it's mate a word, yes, technically the girls have been team, but they don't have that as a word either, they don't have term, oh wait, they actually do have team, so I'm going to assume that this this means that either word can be submitted. There we go. So mate 
poor team could be submitted here, or at least I hope that's what the module will do. But hopefully you understand how translated keypad works. It, I forgot to mention, by the way, I've still had this open because it's another one in the familiar faces mod pack, which only currently has three modules in it. But hopefully you understand how the second one I've covered, translated keypad, works. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.